My trio of bumblebee dart frogs are pretty close to 10 years old now, and though in the past they've produced tadpoles, which I have successfully raised, it had been a while. But uh, just a couple of days ago, I noticed a tadpole on the male. The females typically lay eggs in areas where there's a very thin film of water. This uh, coconut hut to the left of this uh, female dart frog here has a petri dish under it and there's a often a thin layer of moisture in that uh, petri dish and the females will lay their eggs there and the tadpoles will develop to a point at which the male can carry them on his back and once he reaches that point or once the tadpole reaches that point the male will carry the tadpole around the vivarium until he finds a place to deposit the tadpole. Now, sometimes they will deposit their uh, tadpoles in the hollow in the middle of a bromeliad. This is the largest bromeliad I have in the vivarium right now. And as you can see, it's in the process of blooming. So that wasn't a particularly suitable place to put it. But fortunately, I once I saw that the male was carrying a tadpole, I put uh, several small deli cups with distilled water in them at strategic points in the vivarium. There's another one down there somewhere. And those are suitable tadpole repository points as well. These other bromeliads are quite small and wouldn't really work. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, male dart frog dropped the tadpole onto this bromeliad. And I wasn't here when it happened, but my daughter was, saw it happen, and was able to carefully maneuver the tadpole into one of these deli cups. So let me show you what I'm going to do next. And here is that little tadpole. My daughter put it in this deli cup just yesterday, and it is now time to move it to uh, larger quarters. The uh, dart frog tadpoles do grow up in fairly small cavities in bromeliads and other uh, hollows in tree branches and things like that, but uh, we're not going to restrict it to such a tiny space as it's in now. So here, again with distilled water, I have a much larger deli, deli cup. This is a, a 16 ounce deli cup. Uh, with much more spacious accommodations for the little tadpole. You can see I put some Christmas moss, which I took from the vivarium. It was growing in the vivarium where the dart frog was, and a little piece of oak leaf that'll add some tannins and an area for biofilm to grow, things like that. They don't really need much. Uh, in the wild, they're restricted to these little cavities um, filled with rainwater, so that's what the distilled water is used to simulate. And I'm going to just these have been sitting together in the same room for a little while, so they've had time to approximate others, each other in temperature. And now the little tadpole should be good to go as far as space goes for a while. I may need to add a little bit of uh, water with some small mineral content, but we don't want a whole lot of that in here. But uh, these other materials will add some of that to the water too, a little bit. And the tadpole will largely eat fish flakes, very small amounts of fish flakes, as it grows. And then uh, once it starts to metamorphose, I'll have to keep my eye on, on that. Once it starts to get its front legs, I'm going to need to, I'm going to use a bigger deli cup and I'm going to tip it quite a bit so that it has a shallow end of water and an area where it can escape the water. Of course, I'll have a secure lid on the deli cup at that point so that it can't escape. And I'll probably just put one on uh, here, a ventilated lid for safety, safety anyway, before that. But I'll need to tip it so that it has a gradient and it can cr climb out of the water as it wants to and so on. And then once its tail has been uh, absorbed into its body, it'll essentially have completed the process of metamorphosis. And I can start feeding it springtails and things like that for a few weeks until it is large enough to graduate to dusted fruit flies. And from there on, its care will be identical to that of an adult and it will grow quite quickly. It has been a little while since I've raised a tadpole. Like I said, I've done it before, but it'll be fun to do again. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will track the progress of this tadpole in future videos. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then, Tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.